Hello Mzad Survivor, how you all been? I recently seen the new patch update and I think it's very interesting, so I was thinking we could read it together and see what all the new fixes and additions that are in 4174. I will read you the most interesting parts, first of it being that this is probably the last major patch before all coders in the Indie Stone are moved to work on build 42. Of course, there will still be fixes and maintenance where necessary, they will be wanting to leave 41 in the best state that they can. Well, this is their plan of course, all of this can change them. So here we go, new flat pack models for movable icons and cleared up the plastic metal bucket confusion and added new watering cans. I always wondered was the bucket plastic or metal? Well finally that's gonna be cleared up. New compass support for the compass item, so basically we see the direction you're facing when you mouse over the item. Me personally, I don't think this is needed as the game view is always the same, but whatever. Recipe improvements, rebalanced weight of walkie talkies, finally I'm tired of the USA walkie talkies having the same weight as a whole wood axe, and other items such as extinguishers, branches, spears and more. Sawed off shotgun recipe will only use the hacksaw and not the garden saw, lighters are fixed and won't completely drain upon equipping, also they will be turned off by default when you equip them. Several new Z and building stories, they're always welcome. New sandbox setting regarding the ability to poison food, so you cannot poison someone's soup with bleach, ah uh, the good times, I hope there will still be servers allowing this, as it can be an excellent tactic to kill someone you want dead, but yes, in PvE you shouldn't be able to poison others. Keys will spawn on zombies and corpses when they spawn inside buildings, instead of when they die inside one. Some traits will be mutually exclusive because of combination of brave and agoraphobia or claustrophobia, or the adrenaline junkie with those two and cowardly. Maggots will spawn less often in spring and fall, and now increased poison value. Fake dead zombies are improved. Improvements to buffs and debuffs in terms of XP and moodles shown. You won't spawn in barricaded or burnt locations anymore. More foods will appear in players' hand when eating them. Rain will decrease zombies hearing and make zombies wander more. Logical improvement to clothing like motorcycle helmets protecting from head fractures and firefighter gear protecting from fire and so on. Optional sandbox setting to disable the tainted water tooltip. Changes to how car alarms work in game, as they're extremely rare threat. I like most of these additions and I wanted to share them with you guys. I want you to tell me what do you think and what are your ideas and expectations of upcoming builds. And now it's time for the tip of the video. Just because a place has a lot of zombies doesn't mean it has good loot. Thank you for tuning in and I will see you all in my next video.